does not make sense, or well, let's just say, you know, they decided that it's time to get the economy rolling. And so to encourage more job growth, the Democrats are proposing that you tax businesses more. how that works or maybe they know something we don't meanwhile we're gonna bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today so the debt ceiling just got approved wait, wait wait increasing the debt ceiling just happened in the Senate yeah there's 76 votes for and 20 and 24 against but, <clears throat> but the problem is is that and now they're saying we have to read the bill to find out what Harry Reid put in it. Yeah, but they talk about that every time they pass the bill. No, but the problem is it's supposed to be passed exactly as it is in the House, and they can bet that Harry Reid tax, tax increases in on it, which is a violation of what they were supposed to which do. Which is they're not supposed to do. And, but yeah. they did pull a last-minute stunt with Giffords. Yeah, oh well, well, yeah, Gifford. Okay, they weren't certain if they could get enough Democrats to vote for the bill, so they hire Paul in Gifford from Arizona to make a dramatic appearance so that, you know, that uh, I, I vote to save our nation. Which after she said that, there's no, that, you know, they're, they're basically, there's a-holes that basically don't give a damn about the nation. Actually, you could tell who didn't believe, who don't believe in our country or believe in, you know, or, you know what she came to do. There are the 95 that voted against the thing. Mm -hmm. you know, well, they they tried to make it like if you didn't vote to for the debt ceiling increase, you're not going to save the nation. Yeah, which they said there was never any problem with the poly. We're going to lose the triple A bond rating no matter what because they didn't cut any money. I mean, okay, I'm going to give you, you know, I'm, this is Mad Bull. Mad Bull is going to give you a quick lesson in economics. Uh, did the Repu are the Republicans going to get a balanced budget amendment voted on? No, because it has to come after everything else is done. All they have to do, since they run the government, they could simply not have the vote. Any of the things, so they don't get the balanced budget amendment vote. And they're not going to get it before the election because the Democrats would look bad. Okay. Did President Obama? Okay, we got, so we got one Democrat, zero Republicans. Did the president get an unlimited blank check to spend money until to, until 2013? To Obama, zero Republicans. Are there going to be tax increases, which the Republicans didn't want? Oh, yeah, there's going to be tax increases. Three Democrats, zero Republicans. The Republicans got skinned on every single area. They got nothing. They, okay. The, we got them, we got the deficit cut. Um, let's see. Did they cut social services? No. Did they cut entitlements? No. Are they cutting any programs? They're cutting three hundred million billion out of the Defense Department. Republican side? Yes. So did they get anything cut? Only on the Republican side. Did, are they you know did they stop the growth of the nation? No, they just stopped the increase in spending. It was a flat, they said the Republicans got skinned. Everybody knows they got skinned, but uh, you know, as, well, we had to get a, we had to get a moral victory so that we can go into the fall election. What was the moral victory? They lost on every battle. I'm every say, single battle they lost This on. is one of those times where you replace them all. I mean, part of it is, is you got to give it to the Democrats, or at least Obama, for strategy. Mm -hmm. They said that he, at the last moment, came through and pushed it through. No, you had, uh, basically, the, the, the way it works is, the, somebody said to Bond, you're, you're going to, you know, they're going to kick your ass out, so you might as well get the money that you can. So spend as much as you can because you're gone. That, you know, because the Tea Party people, the ones that voted against it will be back in, back in. the ones that voted for it are going to have... They're, they're, they basically are gone today. They're going home and find out that they were told not to vote to raise the debt ceiling, and they rose it. Mm -hmm. They said that two out of every three people in the nation said, do not raise the debt ceiling unless you actually make cuts. No cuts were made. There were made. no cuts made. And the whole nation is pissed. They, the nation wants to get rid of... Okay, the rule of thumb is you always want to get rid of the other guy's congressman or senator, not your own. This time they want their own gone. They want this is throw them all out. No. They just created a third party that will be solid this time. People that will actually do what they're sent there to do. They were not sent there to give a blank check to the Democratic Party, and they did it. 
That was stupid. I know. That, that was just all out stupid. That's right. And, <laughs> and Putin says U.S. lives like a parasite off the global economy. No, we don't. We support the global economy. <laughs> I mean, we are totally, the Russians aren't supporting it, the Chinese aren't supporting Chinese basically doesn't buy anything from anywhere except raw materials. They build there because they don't have the cost that we have in our country with unions. Mm -hmm. And Obama administration sues to block Alabama immigration law. Well, because it's unconstitutional. Well, once again, they're based upon the Constitution of the United States and it's unconstitutional. I love it. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. You can't not, you cannot, I love this. You, you, okay, the illegal aliens are leaving Alabama and by the truckload because they know they, they're going to throw their asses up. This is, this is a state ran by the Democrats. The Democrats run the state and they basically pass legislation to throw their rear ends out. If you can't, if you, if you, if you aren't supposed to be here, you're not supposed to have a social security card. If you don't have a social security card, it's real. You're not supposed to be working. And if you can't, it's very simple. You prevent us a valid Social Security card, we'll hire you. They can't do it. And Democrats want to increase job growth by increasing taxes. I know. I mean, um, they said, I love this, that uh, even though the fact that, like, they had, um, uh, was it, under Republicans, they had, like, 18 straight quarters of economic growth until the Democrats took control of the House and Senate. George Bush provided no economic growth while he was president of the United States. He destroyed our nation with his mass. He spent $450 billion in debt when Obama came in. $450 billion, $9 trillion, $450 Okay, here the problem is, you know, Democrats have to take their shoes off to count to five. Uh, five! Uh -huh. Well, they don't go to school. I mean, you, you tell me a Democrat, a young Democrat, that can read, write, and do mathematics. They do not exist. And North Carolina seeks a compensation for sterilization victims. No. Black people in North Carolina. There's oh. A difference. And they aren't controlled by the black minority in North Carolina. It's not going to happen. And News Corp's James Murdoch under pressure over hacking testimony. Okay, I'm, 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 this is fiestable. They didn't hack anything. Hacking is the vernacular they're using today to say they bought information from people. They're now. But they buy it. information all the time. No, but today is considered to be a. They're discovering. Oh my God, it's just like an epiphany from from Barack Obama. That makes us discover that dictators are bad people. They have discovered that tabloids are not nice. Ooh. I can remember when I was little, they used to ruin people's lives. I mean, I remember they threw a really nice guy I knew called George Nader. And he threw him to the dog to protect uh, another gay actor in Hollywood. So they, they basically brought out this tall, handsome guy, athletic, everybody liked George Nader. You know, we can't have that guy on the screen. So they used him, they just fed him to the scandal paper to protect an A actor. Mm -hmm. Destroyed a guy's career who basically wasn't even gay. They just spread the rumor because he associated, okay, um, okay, Randolph Scott and, let me put it this, Randolph Scott, Errol Flynn, and, and, um, and Cary Grant were definitely not gay guys. They ran through women like you, but because they, they associated too much with one another that they obviously were in a gay relationship. That's what they were trying to put forth. You know, guys would go out with other guys to go get women. Mm -hmm. Right? Each one of them brought something else to the table when they went out at night. You have that, you know, you have the, the suave Englishman, you have that devil may care Irishman, then you have the Virginian, which was Randolph Scott. They also had, you can't get Randolph Scott was flat out loaded, which meant he had, Randy had lots of money to go throw around. And unite, oh, July is a blazing heat, sets records in all 50 states. Okay. Uh, oh, what about California? It was not. Uh, it is not. It is cold as hell in California, folks. I mean, you cannot find it warm anywhere except in the middle of the desert where it's all, there's not record heat even in a desert because it rained out there lately. And how pilots wrestled in vain to save an Air France jet. Okay, supposedly. They fought for four minutes. Did they get everything that you could do wrong because the instruments told them they were doing everything right? They're still trying to blame Pilot Air, even though the company that built the plane bad. It said what happened was that 
it's it, totally impossible to stall a plane 11, 11 times in four minutes. I mean, really? the controls, what happened was they were, happened the they were responding to all of the warning signals they were getting and they couldn't have been right. It was totally wrong because everything that they did, like uh, when you're stalling, you push the plane into a dive. Mm -hmm. and, so, and they were pulling the plane back, which means they knew they weren't stalling, even though the control, even though they said that they were stalling, but the automatic things would react as if they were stalling and then it would take control. Oh my the plane God. crashed itself. The pilots did everything that you could humanly do to make that plane fly. Oh my. Yeah. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, there are good days and there are even better days, but unfortunately there are more bad days than there are good days and better days.